Hello, my name is Gerald. Today we're going to make okonomiyaki aboard my boat here. So what I've done is I've chopped up the three things for my okonomiyaki. Cabbage, one green onion, and my uh, flavor. Uh, this happens to be a spam kind of like beef. But traditionally you would use uh, slices of beef, slices of chicken, uh, uh, taco, uh, which is octopus, uh, or bacon, shrimps. They're all good, but this will be good too. And uh, so I'm going to fry up my cabbage and my onions. <clears throat> Come on, you. There we go. I've got a special little frying pan that works perfect for okonomiyaki. It's got a nice uh, low lip on it. And I gotta mix my okonomiyaki flour. Okonomiyaki, uh, I was lucky because in Victoria there's a Japanese supermarket and they have okonomiyaki flour. Usually, uh, I've never used okonomiyaki flour. I use uh, pancake batter <laughs> and it works just as good. <laughs> but um, the, the thing that really makes okonomiyaki really nice is uh, what they do is they put okonomiyaki sauce which is just like a barbecue sauce, it's a little sweeter. And they put mayonnaise. And so they have a squirt bottle of mayonnaise and they draw lines horizontally. And then they use the okonomiyaki sauce and draw lines vertically. And then they put this stuff on, kapushi. And what this is, is a bonita, bonita skipjack tuna. Slices of, very thin. And they garnish uh, the okonomiyaki. Uh, with this and what they do is in the heat they dance and they all look like they're alive like a bunch of little worms or something <laughs> it's a it's a kind of a unique effect but um, I better get frying this because the cabbage takes a while to fry like I'd say seven minutes okay so we'll be back okay so Here's the, can you see it? There's the okonomiyaki. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, is gonna just take some mayo, take a little knife here. <clears throat> and uh, if I was Japanese, I would have mayo in a squirt bottle. Hey, Mugens. Oh, my cat is causing problems again. But I'm not Japanese, so I don't have mayo in a squirt bottle but this works too so i make little lines with it you know be a little artistic like a renoir or whatever more like a pistasco <laughs> pistachio pasco whatever his name was uh shit what is his name anyway i took uh my girls to one of his shows and uh, here we go just go ding 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 that's the okonomiyaki sauce. I say any sweet barbecue sauce would work. But the thing that you need is, this is the part that's really cool. <clears throat> okay, come on. Come on, come on, Picat. Picat. Uh, anyway, this is the, uh, the bonito. And you don't want to be cheap with it. You want to put a lot on. And now watch, the heat. We'll make it dance. Usually okonomiyaki is served in a cast iron pan. And here I want to serve it in a cast iron pan because it's so cold. Everything is so cold. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to cool down my okonomiyaki. I want my katsubushi to dance. Dance into my mouth. So you see how it all, it all starts to wiggling around there. Maybe I put it on too thick. Maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, okonomiyaki and it's so good and I'm gonna enjoy it right now take a little piece <clears throat> yeah so that's it basically it's a cabbage pancake with green onion and um, you can see uh, there's a Korean woman uh, who makes this uh, there's a Korean version as well uh, but uh, I'm not really familiar with what it's called but um, this is a uh, this is from Osaka Osaka Japan if Osaka was a nation this would be its national dish everybody in Osaka knows this uh, dish 
I first learned about it at uh, University of Toronto at the dormitory because across the street there's an Okonomiyaki house and they serve up a pan like this for six bucks and uh, all the students used to go there and eat. It's, uh, it's really good food, filling and healthy. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my meal now. So I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and um, that you try making Okonomiyaki yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.